My name is Iveta Shiri. I am a, a mother of two. I'm married. I live in, uh, in Cumberland Ward. I've been living with my family for over a decade. Yvette Ashiri is one of the city councillor's candidates for the Cumberland Ward 19 by election, occasioned by the election of Stephen Blaze as a member of provincial parliament in February 2020. A television producer and host, Ashiri is set to drive and steward social innovation in Ward 19. All my life, I would say, uh, as long as I can remember, I've been always at the service of the people, uh, making sure that, you know, um, we have a better community, making sure that everybody is served equally. So um, that's why I've been doing all that I've been doing. So I'm highly uh, involved uh, with uh, different community associations. I serve as the president of the school council in, uh, in a school here in Avalon. I do also sit at the board of directors of Montfort Hospital as well, uh, Collège La Cité, and other community organizations and associations such as ACAO, CADO. I'm also the vice president of the Congolese community uh, of Ottawa Gatineau and uh, I'm also a producer. Identité Culturelle is a TV show that showcases women in our community who are making a difference. It is broadcast on uh, Bell Media and Native TV. Our conversation with Yvette was refreshing and laced with a breath of fresh air. She has developed a broad perspective on what change makers need to know and do to influence community action. I have worked with the voiceless for so many years now. I have worn those shoes. I know where it pinches. A lot of people have been working from home now because of the pandemic. And some of them are back to work by taking transit. In Cumberland Ward 19, both at the rural and the suburban area, the resident they need to have better transportation system. Buses are not frequent enough. Yvette has a rich understanding of the people and has created powerful insights about her programs and how to could meet the community's real needs. I've been speaking with young people uh, who have been complaining about the fact that they don't have schedule 8 to 5 and therefore if they, they only can get an express bus uh, then they have to wait for so many hours before getting a bus. I know the needs of this community. I've been knocking doors uh, for so many days now, so many weeks and uh, you know being a mother uh, being uh, having uh, two daughters, I've seen that there is a need for a new type of leadership in our community, but also in our city of Ottawa. So that is why I decided to uh, step in. Uh, that is a natural move for me, but also because I want to be the voice. I want to make sure that, that the voice of the people is heard at the city council level. We are in unprecedented times. When it comes to education, this is what I've been hearing at the door and that I've noticed as well. Being a mother myself, families are worried. It is not easy. That is why I am in favor of having a testing center here in the East End. I met a family, they had a baby and the baby got sick. So they needed to have the baby tested, but they also have other younger kids who go to school. So now they have to go all the way in the West End, making that long lineup. And at the same time, they have to take care of the other children. So this is a time for our government to sit and find better solutions. We need for the East End to have a testing center immediately. We cannot wait on that. 
parents are frustrated so we need to work together to make sure that nobody is forgotten the farmers are worried that uh, the big industry of agriculture is being destroyed. Yes, we need development. However, we have to make sure we don't destroy heritage that have been lasting for so many years. These are stories that we can tell for the younger generation. Let us work together. That is what this community needs and that is what I want to do for this community. Ottawa is a bilingual city. We need to strike a balance between the anglophone and the francophone in terms of services delivery. Je travaillerai également de près avec le MIFO, l'ACFO, le CESOC ainsi que les groupes communautaires francophones afin d'obtenir le statut bilingue de notre ville d'Ottawa. Imagine having at the city council table Someone who knows how to listen. Someone who knows how to advocate. To the younger generation, this is your community. Take your place. Let's build it together. To the seniors, Yvette is here to listen. Talk to me. Let me be your voice. À nos jeunes, Ceci est votre communauté. Bâtissons-la ensemble. Prenez votre place. Pour nos aînés, je suis là pour vous écouter. Parlez-moi. Je suis votre voix. Cumberland Ward includes Ottawa's rural eastern reaches and part of suburban Orleans. Together, ensemble.